Hello, my little creatives, and welcome back to another episode of Draw Fully Fun, Draw With Me. Today, we're heading into the garden, and we're going to check out some cute, adorable, and also messy little bumblebees. We're actually going to be starting with the first drawing of my messy artist series. So I have about five or six drawings where I have created characters that are all messy artists and are getting themselves into all sorts of a messy chaotic mess so this drawing today is going to be my little bumblebee who's jumped or started playing around with a whole bunch of paint so let's get started so right here we're going to start with rainbow curves rainbow curves today for our eyes right in the middle of the page we have about one finger space in between for our eyes and then we're going to do big old ovals big old circles or ovals all around kind of like hot air balloons right on top of those rainbow curves Boop, like that there we go look how cute i love these little eyes let's go ahead and give it a cross-eyed look so we're going to be looking to the middle so that it can give the effect that it's looking back at us so right here we're going to go right down the middle on both eyes Boop. so there you go it's kind of cross-eyed there Let's set up for our ladders. We're going to go and do our stripes, the same exact line right behind that one. And then we climb all the way up to the tippity top, all the way up to the tippity top. There you go. Now, for those of you that have never seen my videos before, the ladders are where all of your color goes for your eyes. So if you want your little bee to have green eyes, blue eyes, yellow eyes, or even rainbow eyes, go ahead and only do the latter. The outside stays white and the inside is going to have highlights and then colored in in black. So big highlight on the top and a little one on the bottom. Same thing over here, really big circle on the top for our highlight sparkles in the eyes and a little one on the bottom there we go and of course we color in our pupils i like to color my pupils in ahead of time it makes it look a little cuter gives it the look that it's already complete let's go ahead and continue all the way around like that there we go look how cute that looks awesome I love it, I love it, I love it. Now we're gonna give him a little jelly bean nose right in the middle. Give it a cute little jelly bean nose, boop, like that. Now, if you wanna give your little bumblebee some little eyelashes, go for it. You can come over here and do little cute eyelashes. I'm gonna leave mine like this today. And then I'm gonna come down here and do a cute little happy face. Yep. A little happy face smile, but the mouth is gonna be open. We want our mouth to be wide open like that with a little tongue nope. right in the middle there we go look how cute and then we can also do little happy face curves at the end just to really give the effect of some cute little cheeks coming up and right on the bottom I'm gonna do a little lip nope. on the kind of like a little chin almost <laughs> looking cute I love them I'm gonna add a little bit more depth to this and add some cute little lines right on the inside here and then we're going to do some really puffy cheeks here. So get ready. This bee is going to be a puffy, chubby little bee. Now to do the cheeks, I'm going to come over to where I left off on the rainbow curves and use that as a point of reference to come around and do my cheeks. So from this one, we're going to come around and just do a little bubble all the way down to the bottom right here. Same thing on the left. We're going to come around right where we left off on this rainbow and do a cute little cheek. And come puff it up and down to the mouth Boop. you see what I'm talking about those are some puffy cheeks <laughs> I love them let's go ahead and do the inner face now we're gonna have two layers for the head here we're gonna have the inner face and then the outer head the inner face is gonna kind of resemble that Mickey Mouse effect so we're gonna come around from the cheek line into a little hill and dip it down into a little triangle point and then back up all the way around to the cheek Boop. right there see so we kind of have a little Mickey Mouse effect and then on the outside of this layer we're gonna have a big old mohawk right here on top of the head so we're gonna come from the outside of this line 
and just bring up that big old hill shape again. And when you get to the middle, instead of going down into a dip, we're gonna go into a big mohawk. So right here, we're gonna create kind of like a shark fin. Go up, and then th two more little triangles off to the right. One, and two, like that. There we go. And then we just close this out the same way we started. Bring this all the way around and down to the side of the cheek. Boop. Right there. Look at that. He's so cute. Oh, don't forget the eyebrows. Why do I always forget the eyebrows? My goodness. <laughs> all right. Let's go ahead and do the antenna right on top of his head or antennae, antenna, antennae. What is the plural of antenna? I believe it's antennae. <laughs> let's go ahead and do these little swirls that go all the way around right on top of the head. Yeah, all the way around. Big old swirl. Now, if you want to make yours go just straight up, by all means, go all the way up and just close it out right up there. You can even do little shapes on top of it, kind of like what we did for my butterfly elephant mashup where we did little hearts on top of the antenna. I'll link that up here in the card so you can see what I'm talking about. Or you can just come around here and do what I'm doing and make a little swirl all the way around and close it with a circle. Boop. Let's do the same thing over here. So let's do a big old curve all the way around. Boop. And let's do the same exact thing on the inside all the way around and close it out with a circle. Boop. And there you go. You got your antenna or antennae, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. All right, let's go ahead and move down to the body. So we're going to have a couple of things going on here. We have one arm that's going to be down here holding on to the paint buckets. And we have another arm that's going to be popping up over here holding the paint up. So we're going to start with the body. The body's only going to go halfway down on this one. So right here, boop, halfway down. Because this is where the harm, the harm, <laughs> the arm is going to pop in right here. And this one is going to go all the way down. Doop, 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 boop, right there. All right. Let's work on the arm that's bent. So we're going to have an elbow right over here. So from the body, bring this out into a little curve, kind of like a boomerang, and in, Boop, like that. And then the one on the inside, we're just gonna come out from right here and create a little thumb that pops out from right here. Tiny little thumb. Now this thumb is gonna transition into what looks like an oven mitt. I don't know about you, but I have never been great at making fingers, especially on little characters like this. So I kind of do the cheat method of avoiding fingers and I do little mittens. So I'm gonna do a little mitten on my character. Now, I, this is not really a cheat version. There's plenty of characters that don't have fingers like this. You can do anything you want with a cartoon. So it's not really a cheat version. <laughs> It's more of my preferred version. <laughs> so we're going to do a little oven mittens right here. And then I'm going to come over here and do the other arm that's popping upwards. So instead of going around this way, we're going to go to the right. Bring that arm to the right and then up into our little thumb. Boop. Good job. There we go. Love it. Let's do the little elbow on the bottom. So it's just going to look like a little V shape with a round edge and then up like that now instead of doing the oven mitten exactly like what i did here i want to make sure that there's paint on top of his hand so i'm going to bring the oven mitten just a little up and then i'm going to swirl it down like if it has paint coming down and up Boop. like that and then close this little gap out just to show that that's the hand underneath so we have a big blob of paint right on top of his hand love it all right, now he had to get his paint from somewhere, right? So we're going to have a bunch of paint buckets sitting out right in front of him here. I'm going to do three of them. So to do them, I want to layer them so that we have one all the way in the back, which is the biggest one, a medium one, and then a tiny one right here. So I start with the little ovals, the little lids, or the opening of each can right here. So we have oval number one, where the actual hand is going into. The second one is going to be a little lower, a little shorter, like that. And I want the third one to be a smaller one right down here in this corner. So just another little oval about right here. Boop. There we go. 
now we can go ahead and start layering them. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to start creating lines and make the actual shape. So we'll start off with the one that's closest to us since there's nothing on top of that. And just bring down two lines on each side. And close it out with a slight curve on the bottom, kind of like a little happy face. All right, let's do the second one over here. Since this one also doesn't have anything on top of it, we can just do a straight can. All the way down, same happy face curve. All right, and then we have the one that's in the back. Now this one is getting layered, so we're only gonna go right behind this paint bucket. This one goes behind this one. And we close out a happy face curve right on the bottom. Boop. Like that. Awesome. All right, now we can start closing out the body shape right behind these paint buckets. So we're going to follow this invisible path that we created for the body right up here and bring down a tiny little line boop, right here. And then we're going to close these two gaps here. Notice how I didn't close this out right here. We're going to put a little foot that's popping out from here and popping out from here. So that's why this didn't get closed out. We're going to do kind of like an oval mixed with a square, so round edges of a little square foot like that. And same thing over here. We're going to come from behind the paint bucket, bring it up into a little square-like shape with rounded edges. Yep like that there we go look how cute he looks i love it i want to put some paint dripping down from him right here so i'm just going to come around boop, and then do an inner foot yeah, like a little pink little paw pad same thing over here but i'm not going to put paint on this one i'm just going to do a little inner foot kind of give it a little difference between the two Awesome. Look how cute he looks. We can go ahead and add his stripes, you know, little bumblebee black stripes. So we're going to go all across the body and just kind of determine where you want your stripes to go. If it's behind the arm, behind the paint buckets, all the way around. Right here, maybe a little piece popping out from here. And there you go. Look how cute he looks. He's so adorable. All right, now what I want to do is create the big wings that are all around the outside. So from the top of the head over here, or from the side of the head, I'm going to create a big old circle that goes all the way around. Like that. Big, big, big wing. Boop. Right here. And then I'm going to do a little one right here. Big one on top, little one on the bottom. Let's do the same thing over here, kind of like butterfly wings, almost. So we're going to go from kind of about the same spot where we started here and kind of measure along the way where you left off so you can have this invisible guide right here. So from here, bring this out into a big bubble all the way around near to the arm like that so kind of guide yourself where you left off on that one same thing here we got another little bubble all the way around to the top of the foot and there you go he's got wings now the official outline is done but we still have a lot of details we can add here to really make it pop so what i want to start doing is adding paint drips all around the paint buckets there's no wrong or right way to do this. You can have them dripping however you like. Kind of going all over the place. Remember, it is the Messy Artist series. We want it messy. We want it dirty. We want everything to be full of paint, including the wings. So I'm going to come over here and make a whole bunch of paint drips. He's a bee that wanted to be something else. He wanted to turn himself into a beautiful butterfly, so he started painting himself. And then he realized he's happy being himself. He likes to be a little bee. And then he just starts playing around with all the paint. <laughs> so let's get him all messy. Like that. Let's do some more here on top of his arms. We have on his foot, his arms. Let's go over here and do the same thing on these wings. All over the place. Wherever your heart desires. Go ahead and go crazy with paint. Kind of like what, uh, think about what you would do if you were finger painting. Where would all the paint go? Would you splatter it everywhere? <laughs> I'm just going to create a whole bunch of splatters behind his head, everywhere. All right, let's take another look. We got the eyebrows, check. We got the eyes, check. We got the paint, the antenna. I think, oh no, wait, let's do some more globs of paint down here. Big puddles. One right here. 
Maybe a little one right here. Boop. There we go. Now he's complete. Oh, I love it. Ooh, no, let's come in here and add a little bit more t uh, details to really give the effect that there's paint inside the buckets. Just do this little wave going all across the top. And there you go. Now we're done. <laughs> this is the official outline. Your bumblebee is done. Now you don't have to have this as paint. You can use this as honey. He could be a bumblebee that just got into some honey. You can get creative, do whatever you like for this. And of course, let me show you my completed version. All right, guys, you know the drill. If you liked what we did today, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up, like my video, subscribe to the channel, and get notified by ringing that big old bell so you can get notified of all my future content. And if you did complete this, please take a picture, upload it to social media, use the hashtag DrawfullyFun, wherever it is that you're going to post it, or you can go to my website, once it's up and running, DrawfullyFun.com, and upload your fan art to my fan art page. Alright guys, until the next time, happy creating!